everyone welcome to my youtube channel in this video i am going to explain how to calculate bulk density and relative total porosity let me explain you what is bulk density and what is a total porosity bulk density is a weight of soil or concrete in a given volume bulk density increases with the compaction okay what is a porosity porosity means voids in the material okay Having pores in the material, it reduces the density, also reduces the strength of material. Okay, I am going to explain uh, how to calculate bulk density by solving an example. Let's say we have a cylinder. In that cylinder, we have soil or concrete. So it's up to you which kind of material you are going to use. You can use both concrete or soil. We have given diameter of the cylinder. Okay. Given diameter is equal to 150 millimeter, which is we have 15 centimeter because we need to calculate we need to convert millimeter into centimeter height of cylinder we have 300 millimeters 30 centimeters total mass with material equal to 11.08 kilogram you can have different mass if you have different cylinder geometry or cylinder dimensions okay material density the material which we are going to use is the concrete I would say the density of concrete is we have material density is equal to 2.3 gram per cubic centimeter okay so this is a given data we have we have given this data now how to solve how to calculate bulk density and total porosity First of all, we have given the diameter, we need to calculate the area. Area of cylinder pi over 4 d square 3.14 multiplied by 15 square divided by 4. We will get fifty two ninety eight point seventy five cubic meters. So divided by a thousand, we will get five point two nine. DMQ. Okay. What is the formula of bulk density? Bulk density is equal to mass over volume. The mass we have already been given, which is 11.08 volume we need to calculate volume first how to calculate the volume we have area now area multiplied by height or length you will get the volume so I'm just going to calculate volume here volume is equal to area times by height Five point two nine 
multiply by height we have 30 centimeter so we will get Five point two nine times by thirty. So basically, I'm sorry, I've made a little bit mistake here. This one should be height because our height multiply by thirty already here. So we have height here. Well, I have calculated here directly. So just area multiplied by height it will give you volume. So this is 598.75. This is a volume. This, this is not only just area, this is a volume. So if you divide by 1000, you will get 5.29 dm cube. Okay, so this is the volume. Area multiplied by height give you the whole volume. So I divided by thousand to get to get this number. Okay, mass or volume. So five point two nine. We have eleven point zero eight divided by five point two nine. Bulk density is going to be. 2.094 kilogram over dm cube so we have bulk density here what we did basically we have calculated area and volume sorry uh, area with volume pi over 4 d square times by h which is height to get the volume then we calculated bulk density mass over volume Mass we have 11.08 kg and the volume is 5.29 dm cube. So you will get 2.094 kilogram over dm cube. This is we have bulk density. Okay, bulk density is calculated already. It is calculated now. We need to calculate relative total porosity. Okay, so I'm just going to put total porosity. Relative total porosity or writing total porosity is the same thing. Total porosity, the formula we have volume of pores divided by total volume. Okay. We have total volume already. This is the volume. This is the volume. We have volume, we need to calculate volume of pore. What is the formula for volume of pore? Volume of pore is equal to mass over bulk density minus mass over material density okay so what we have mass mass we have already calculated sorry mass already is given which is sorry 11.08 divided by bulk density we have calculated here 2.094 minus mass already we have material density what is the material density material density is already given it's here material density is here which is 2.3 what we will get so just need to put these all number in the calculator over 2.3 so we will
always get zero point four seven four. Okay. We have volume of pore here. This is the volume of pore. Now what we need to calculate we just need to put this value into this formula. So I'm just going to put it directly into the formula. Volume of pore we have here 0 0.474 divided by total volume which is we have 5.29 okay multiply by 100. Why is 100? Because we get our answer in percentage we need to calculate our pores in the percentage okay 0 0.474 divided by 5.29 multiply by 100 the answer would be 8.96 percent so the porosity in our material is 8.96 percent and that's it for today thank you for watching my youtube video please don't forget to subscribe